Tuesday, September 13th, 2011. I'm Wilson Tang on CNET.com and it's time to get loaded. Location-based services are all the rage these days with many users checking in on Foursquare and Facebook. Gowalla has been Foursquare's largest competitor and now the company hopes to reinvent its app to focus on just travel and storytelling. In version 4.0 of the app, you'll be able to see where your friends are checking in, organize the stories complete with photos of them hanging out. The new Gowalla also brings guides for when you travel to different locales. The guides will offer travel tips and must-see sites and can automatically be generated. You may remember the startup company Fusion Garage who got into a legal spat with tech blog TechCrunch over the idea and design of the Crunchpad. Well, it looks like the company's newest tablet, the Grid 10, will be making an October 1st debut in the States, but with a $200 price cut. The 16GB Wi-Fi model, which was planned to be sold for $499, will now retail for just $299. The Grid 10 will also come now in a $399 version with 3G. I'm sure many of you can relate to the fact that Facebook seems to be sucking more and more time away from your day. Well, be prepared to spend even more time in the social network as Miramax will soon start selling and renting movies on the site. While other studios have made similar moves in the past, Miramax will be going a step further by integrating Uyala Social so viewers can buy and then chat about movies. Viewers will be able to find movies like Goodwill Hunting and Pulp Fiction. Films themselves are bought using Facebook credits. Google Docs is updating its sharing options to a comment-only mode. Maybe you just want someone to approve read your work, or maybe you're just afraid someone will mess with your formatting. The new comment-only sharing option will limit access to those who have the link or anyone on the web. Software maker MoboTap has released its popular Dolphin Browser HD for the iPad. The app was an Android browser known for its gesture and webzine mode. Gestures will allow users to swipe the page to move back and forth or refresh the page. Webzine mode reformats the sites into popular magazine style layouts like Flipboard and Zite. Dolphin Browser HD is available in the iTunes App Store for free. Finally, concerned that your teenager is talking or texting on the phone while driving? Perhaps you're a culprit yourself. Well, Sprint is launching a new app for Android smartphones called Drive First. The app locks up your phone when it detects you're in a moving vehicle. Phone calls will automatically go to voicemail, while incoming texts will get an automated custom reply. Sprint isn't just being a good Samaritan here, though. The service will cost $2 per month after a 15-day free trial. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Wilson Tang for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.